this video is for not the pro or the pro detailer. You already know this. This is for the guy that's just getting into this. I paint a couple of cars a year. I'm an old custom car painter, but I haven't done it in years. And with this channel, Mustang Rebuild, I've done a couple Mustangs. I'm building a real nice Crown Vic. So, sorry for the weird angle. I just want to be able to, for you to see this. I want to talk to you about polishers. And if you're new to the game of polishing, this right here is a rotary polisher. This here is, this is a Block & Decker Automotive Heavy Duty Series. This is 40 years old. This is back, I'm 63. Well, I'm going to be 63 in a few months. This I had when I was in my 20s, 21, 22, when I was doing Corvettes and stuff. That's what I, I used to be, custom Cor Corvette painter. Anyway, this is heavy. If you're not used to it, you can actually rip it out of your hands or do damage to a car or twist a cord. There's several, several really good videos on YouTube on how to use these. But these, if you're very new to this, uh, stay away from this. You can get some of the best polishing out of a big rotary. I'm sorry, some of you detailer guys. These will give you some of the best on large, on large surfaces. Next, you know, you got your normal DA type polishers. There's all kind of, you detailing guys know it better than me. I've learned from you young guys, all right? But this is the Hercules from Harbor Freight. This is called Force Rotation. When you hit the trigger, it slowly starts and then it's a DA type polisher and it also rotates, similar to this. This, when you hit the trigger, it just spins. There's no DA action, it's just a hard spin. So you, have, you can burn edges of paint very easily with one of these. This, yeah, you can still burn paint with it, but it's a lot easier and it uses Velcro pads which I've also converted this old one to where it uses the Velcro pads, bigger pads. This here uses, I use a six inch and you detail guys. Once again, you've got hundreds of different brands of pads. So watch other detail guys for that. And there's a bunch of fantastic guys out there. But around the windows and tight areas, I used to use an air. It was it had a three inch, like this, but three inch force rotation by air, a hand one, simple one. And that's what I would do the corners of bumpers or headlights, stuff like that. I will show you something I bought on Amazon and we'll look at it together. Hold on a second. There'll be a link in the description if you want one of these. I searched around and I had a budget. I already got two buffers, right? I was gonna buy a normal, Upper Harbor Freight, uh, another just the DA style polisher without the force rotation because I already had force, the blue ones force rotation. I got a video on it if you want to know what the hell I'm talking about. So I went on Amazon and I bought this one. It was honestly right around $100. I don't know if this is professional grade or not, but for what I'm using it, and most likely what you're gonna use it for, I, it'll last. I'm, I'm pretty much sure of that, okay? Because I looked at a lot of other reviews and everybody said it was fine. So, let's open this up together. Some of you guys love unboxing. I could care less about unboxing. So, Comes with a bunch of pads already with it. These are three inch pads. It also has a heavy cutting pad in it. And if you go to the description on Amazon, it will show you exactly what the, each pad, what these pads are. And it also comes with another group. This one has three inch. Now I had, the other one has six inch and the other one before it has bigger. So this is three inch. And then it also comes with a set of two inch and one inch. And that's the reason I bought it. It's norm, the lowest I had was the air one that had three inches on. So now I have a two inch, a one inch, two inch, three inch, six inch, and a nine inch.
Here it is. All right, so it's got instructions, which you know, you're a man, you never read. And then it comes with these. What these are, or you can unscrew each one and have extensions to where if you gotta go in a, like a tunnel around a, inside a bumper and all, it'll extend the pad out. And it gives you like one, two, three different lengths. So you could, and you put the polish you tip in there and you can go around there. I'll set it up with the shorter one for what I'm gonna do. And it keeps you away from maybe there's some rubber or contour that you don't wanna be running a buffer and melt on it, okay? Trust me, that stuff happens. And these are the backing pads for it, for all the different sizes. All right. So the backing pad can get screwed straight to this or to different length shafts. And then it comes with a handle, you unscrew it on this side or this side if you're left or right. I'm ambidextrous, I'm lucky. Or you run it without one, okay? So, there you go. I'll put it together and we'll try it on something real quick. I'm not going to do a full detail on it. I'll we'll just try a little spot on it and see how it does. Okay. I taped up this just little area here. And we're doing this piece around. I, I could have done this with the big buffer, but it gets smaller and I wanted to get closer to these edges. And this is just a spot I picked to show you how to use this. I can use it along the edges of my hoods, uh, all these tight areas, but if you can tell, I've lightly sanded this, all right, to get rid of a lot of the orange peel. I'll sand it a little bit more, but we're t test practicing with this deal right now. All right, the roof's done, it's slicker than slick. But here, let's see what we can do. We're gonna use a very coarse compound, and we're gonna use a cutting pad, and I am I held up the different pads on here, and I feel the two inch would be perfect for this. So, uh, You'll see it from a distance, uh, you'll see me use it, and then we'll examine it afterwards, all right? This does not come with a really long cord. It's probably, oh, uh, probably eight feet. It'll say in the description I don't have in front of me, but I'll put some heavy cutting compound right now. All right, your speed adjustments in the back. Okay, right now it's set at the highest setting which is a six, goes all the way down to one. I'll pull the trigger here. This is at one. You see how it has a slow start before, it just doesn't start up like, you know, whipping. It's kind of like that force rotation, but it has a slow start to where you can handle it so it won't rip out of your hand. Let's bring it up to three. And now we're going to go all the way up to the six. So we're going to start off with this probably on the three. Let's see what happens. Where was this crap when I was young? Doing the, there's a lot of times we had to do stuff by hand in the corners of rubbing compound. Yeah, hand rubbed lacquer. I know, don't laugh at me, but that's how old I am. So, I'll take the camera off and we'll look at it, all right? Here's the sanded area. This is the polish. You saw, you saw how long I did it from right here to here. You're not gonna, you know what? And the reason why you see the tape here is just so I don't hit the rubber and, and it's a good practice, okay? 
And when you got eyesight like mine, I'm getting older, um, it's really good practice. And when you're going around edges with a big buffer, so you don't burn the edge of the op opposing panel. So this is just the quick buff right there. We'll move up, we try the other pads. But for now, you can't beat it for a hundred bucks. You got all those pads and I used the two inch one here. Um, you know what, especially if you're like me, you're building, I can't tell you if it long term, but I don't see why not. There's not a lot of pressure on this thing. They give you an extra set of bushings, which normally that's what goes wrong with things. And it's it's solid. It's not it's not light light. It's decently heavy. All right. So anyway, just my opinion for you guys building your own cars, trucks would be great around you know the door frames of old Camaros, Ford pickups, things like that. Uh, doing headlights. If you're getting new into detail, don't dump a ton of money into. You could gradually move your way up on your equipment. God bless you, and um, see you in the next one. Um, I'll show you the Vic. Hold on. Here's the Vic. She's coming along. She's almost done. You know, I polished all these areas with everything off, but I could have done it with the thing on. There's the Vic there. Still got to do the wheels. And we added this to the Vic. There we go. All right. And see, underneath the hood is as nice as the outside of the car. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.